Hey everybody, I wanted to tell you about a new specification that I'm coming out with, a M2 specification. And basically it's the same as the M1 specification except for now you can do the head turns um, and up and down kind of movement. So if you've seen my discussion about the M1 specifications, just a way to specify how the character is constructed and what it can do. So here we have the exact same character, but it's using an M1 specification. So in this case, the character cannot do a smooth turn from one facing one direction to the next, uh, but it does a quick turn. Now notice that um, this is artistically superior to the other character that I um, showed, and the hair is not symmetric. And so uh, the M1 specification doesn't mean that the character has to be artistically simple. It just means that um, it has what I consider to be the base level of functionality. One other thing to point out about this particular character, um, we specify in M1 that we use a quick turn for the head. And notice it can be done in a single um, head layer or set of layers. Or in this case, I have a head switch layer, and we switch between a left three-quarter and a right three-quarter. Now that in one way is more uh, complicated because you need to make sure everything looks right uh, between the two views. And so if I do browse up and down or eye close, then I have to do them in both of the um, layer sets. So an M1 character can be uh, kind of sophisticated. One reason for this is that maybe that's just an easier way for you to work. Um, but the other thing here is that we, since we have the symmetric hair, or the non-symmetric hair, it might be easier for you to do that. But of course, you could just do that in a uh, single face layer or a uh, single headset. Okay, so now let's look at the M2 character. And the M2 character is actually using uh, the kind of idea of a head switch layer that has a three-quarter a front and a three-quarter right. And if you'll notice, there is this grid up here, and I'll show you why that is. So let's take a look at the head turn action, and specifically let's look at the head switch layer. And what we're doing is that we have the front, head front, is the default view and so what we're showing is as the um, control bone turns we're actually moving the points in the front view of the head but when this control bone hits this line what we're going to do is switch to the other layer the head three-quarter left and we do a similar thing to the right as the control bone um, moves to the right, we're moving the points on the face. And then when we get to this line, we're going to switch to the three-quarter right view. And if you'll notice, as we continue to move that bone, there's a region in which uh, it is at the three-quarter right view. And if you see, there is a section over here. If I want, I can put a profile view in there. And same thing for three-quarter left. We have a region where it's in the front view and a region where it's in three-quarter left and potentially a region where you can have a profile. So the lines in this grid are helping you to see when you are in the, three, uh, the front view or the three-quarter left or three-quarter right. So you may ask, well, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because without these three separate views, when I just use point movement controlled by a smartphone to um, move all the points and to give me the different views, whenever I'm using the other control bones, we get um, all kinds of conflicts. However, with this scheme, what it allows me to do is for each of the primary views, I can um, select whatever I want like the uh, expressions that were we have explained in the M1 view, and I can be assured that the expressions are going to look very nice no matter which view I'm in. So here's the front view, 
and then I can just use the head turn. Now, remember when it's in this region that's uh, the that's the three quarter left view. I'm actually this is the the view, and the three quarter left does not um, move the points or anything. And so I can go and <coughs> do the surprised view. or any of the other views or emotions, these actions here. So um, each one of the actions are specifically drawn or um, created for that particular view and the same thing is true when we're at the three-quarter left view. So the value is that whether I'm in the three-quarter view, the front view, or the three-quarter right view, the expressions will all be optimized for that particular view. Now for the up and down, I only really do the up and down for the front facing view uh, and that's for two reasons. In the three quarter views I can get a fairly good up and down um, with just the regular head bone, but for those that have tried to do uh, the head turn and the up and down view, you know that these bones can conflict and so that's really one of the primary uh, issues there. So anyway, that is the M2 specification. It's exactly the same as M1, except it has the ability to turn the head, and so it just builds on it. So it has that nicer control of the head, but it is uh, quite a bit more complicated to actually set up the rig. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it.